Hello there, and this is Opera Cookie, and today I'm doing a different video than what I usually do, and this is similar to a sick fig, as you can see. And you're wondering, why is there a thing that looks kind of robotic near my sick fig? Well, you'll figure it out right now! So this is my self-mock, it uses some bionicle pieces, and some a lot of this inspiration come from came from Fantoka Liwa, and a couple of the later years of Bionicle Toa, which I definitely like a lot. And of course you can see Takanuba's mask. And of course, you guys know my favorite element is ice. And this is basically my self-mock of my sig fig. And it's really good. Um he has a shield, which is of course a new Paros, I know that's not creative. And he also has M Matoro's sword piece and a staff, um, axle hole, or an axle piece. But yes, it's all together, it fits good with each other, and the back is good. It has some jetpacks here and here, and these blade things are holding the jetpacks on this little system. Well, not really system, but on this Technic piece which is good, but there's more to my sig fig to this, so let's go ahead and look at more of it. So what is under this mask of light is the Metru heads, which I really like them a lot. I will be using them in a lot of my videos, and yes, I'm a big fan of these head pieces for Bionicle which it looks like they're using some sort of similar thing for the new Bionicle sets. But yes, this is neat. And of course you can switch mask to this Aku, which if you guys don't know, this is Kopaka's mask. And if I just put this on here, it fits. And this is his mask. So yes, I can switch, but in my set motions, since he will be in my set motions, there will be explanation why he does this. And you can also switch over to this mask that I, I also got on Bricklink. But yes, this is his Aku mask, and of course, he is a he used to be a Comatorn, which here's the preview of that mock that I have. But yes, this is he used to be a Comatorn on Spheres Magna, and the Scroll Empire is rebuilding. And basically, I don't want to get too in detail, but yes. He is a coma torn. He used to be, but his mask can he can change mask basically without having him incinerate by the mask of light or life. I mean, but or light, yes. But yes, he also has this shield piece. As I explained, if I just take this off like this, well, I need to take these two pieces off and take this. He has a visible hand, which of course is a Hero Factory hand, which I like these hands a lot, which I bought most of these pieces on Bricklink, and some of these are mine, and some of these are my brother's, but yes, this is Hero Factory and he can just use it to hit or whatever, but yes, and also I found out that these can actually fit on the here, except they fit on hand a little bit differently and awkwardly, which I'll show you that I have... Found a cooler way to do it, but yes, if I just snap this on in here, it basically has, or he basically has a gun that he can shoot from and shoot enemies and other stuff. Yes, it doesn't bend that well, so I found a better way how he can hold the weapon. So this is the better way how he can hold the weapon. I switched the hand out for this now Mata slash new by hand, and he actually is pretty good, even though that this is heavy, it has all the Fantoka things on here, well, ball shooters, and yeah, that's basically another addition to him, and of course, here's another thing that you can change on him, his blade, now this is basically Jala Mari's sword, and basically if you just put it on here, even though that changes its appearance, there will be a story on how it can change, but it changed into now the Staff of Light, which you might go, why? Well, there will be reasons, but I don't want to tell you since it will be a little bit spoilish. You can go on my website, which I'll have that down in the description, but yes, this is his other form 
of course they said that he can fly because he has a lot of jetpacks. But let's get away from that for a minute. And he has some Paraka arm pieces. Well, that were used in the uh, Mystica, which of course I got inspiration from that. And it looks really good so far with the pieces. It's a little bit... I know most people say that it's a little bit less creative, but I like how he looks. Um, Takanui, he's not that bad, but this is just for any BioTuber who wants to do my self mock or other stuff. I am built ever since December, so yes, if you guys were wondering, I haven't shown him to you guys lately since I've been making some updates and other stuff to him. But yes, and this, and if you guys are wondering what I, is my inspiration for this mock, it is Fantoka Liwa. But yes, I really like how he looks currently, and yes, this is my self mock. And also, if I if this was like an official Lego set, even though that's mock, I would probably rate a seven because it's kind of not really a original idea. I just kind of had an inspiration for one of my favorite, well, Fantoka builds, and yeah, this looks great. I like how it looks, and basically, yeah. And now you guys know my favorite Toa is Takanuva. Well, and also Kopaka, but yes. This is a, my favorite form of Takanuva. This is his only form, actually, sorry about saying that, but yes. This is um, a cool look for Tak. I sell Maka Takanuva. He might be updated every year, I don't really know, but I'm... This is for any LEGO Bionic fan who likes my channel and wants to do my self-mock. Yes, this is how he looks. And, yeah. It's a really great mock. And I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And see you guys later. Bye!